So we have here another example for uh, torsional bearing stress. Here uh, we have a shaft which is uh, 150 mm in diameter and then here it's attached to uh, four gears A, B, C and D with given um, torques um, and the direction of the torques eh? um, caused by these uh, gears and then we have uh, bearings here at E and F. So the problem requires us to get the maximum shearing stress, torsional shearing stress on the segments no? or uh, it, these particular sections of the shaft. So again for the detailed um, statement of the problem you can refer to the description of the video. So, so we'll have a uh, stress max at A to B, B to C and C to D. No? So the approach here is uh, like your um, um, shearing stress uh, shearing stress uh, you just have to cut cut sections and determine the reactive or, or reaction torsion reactive or resisting torsional or tor torque your resistive torque at each um, segment so solution here solution you have at section or first we have to find um, stress uh, AB so you have to cut and then we will consider this uh, side so we'll name it AA so section AA we have a torque which is uh, directed clockwise 15 kilonewton and then we have a resisting torque which is not the torque AB which is equal to since uh, no other torques are present this is also equal to 15 kilonewton meter no? so it's just like uh, equilibrium of um, forces in some of moments at this particular section you have a resisting uh, moment or torque which is also equal to the external torque or your moment so we have the shear max at AB Segment AB is just equal to 16 T AB divided by pi D3. So we will have 16 torque is given 15,000 newton meter. So I'm converting now the kilonewton to newton. And then since our diameter is given in millimeters, we're also converting the meter. So you have 1 meter is to 1000 mm divided by pi times 150 mm cube. So this cancels out with this one. Then this one cancels. You know of newton per mm square or just equivalent to uh, megapascals. Max AB is equal to 22.6 mega pascals so that's it for uh, segment AB now for segment BC uh, we we'll also cut uh, this uh, section for this segment so we we'll cut this one and name it uh, B section BB then uh, we can make use of the right or the left side take example which is uh, make use again of the left side section BB so at uh, section BB we have this one we have the counterclockwise 15 meter we also have the oh no no that's that's clockwise we also have the clockwise which is given 30 kilonewton meter and then we have the so this is at point A this is point B and then this is from B to C the resistive torque which is now equal to 45 again since uh, these are um, same direction you can have summation of moment equals 0 so this is uh, TBC so TBC is just equal to so in the opposite direction you have 15 plus 13 which is equal to 45 so your um, stress max 
BC is just equal to 16 times your um, fifth, uh, it's 45,000 Newton meter times the conversion factor divided by pi times 150 mm 3 cancel 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 comes 2 we have the stress max BC equals 67.9 megapascals so for uh, segment um, CD we also have to cut section but uh, for convenience we will choose uh, the right side of section CC at section CC heavier you have the clockwise 30 kilonewton meter so of course the resisting uh, moment here is we have also 30 kilonewton which is your torque CD so shear max at CD is just equal to you have 16 times 30 newton meter then you have the conversion factor 1000 1 meter cancel 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 to the denominator 150 mm cube so you have stress max at CD is just equal to 45.3 mega pascals so again we just made use of um, equation that uh, stress max just 16 t over pi d cube and then we just uh, computed the internal torque moment by cutting sections of each segment so there you have it